Hi guys, and in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of this VivoBook E203 and I'll be going through a few things about it. Okay, so this particular model normally retails for around £200, but at the minute there's a lot of sales going on with it and with it being like the back to school laptop, you can pick it up for just over half the price, which is which is good. So in terms of the laptop itself, the laptop's got an 11 inch screen, it's got a one gigahertz processor, and it's got that turbo boost in there. So when you're using any programs or anything that requires a bit more processor power, it will turbo boost all the way to 2.4, and, and it'll give you the extra power that you need to get the jobs done. It also comes with two gigabyte of RAM and 32 gigabyte EMMC hard drive, which I'll get onto in a bit. So it's not your normal hard drive, it's a very small hard drive, Hence why we've got that, but like I said, I'll get onto that in a bit. In terms of connectivity, it's got Bluetooth 4.1 for your headphones or wireless mouse and keyboard. It's got a USB-C port if you're gonna be using any of these new devices. It's got two normal USB ports, which are 3.0. It's got a HDMI output, which is good for when you wanna put things on a wider screen. And it's got your normal 3.5 audio out jack for your speakers or headphones or whatever. And it also has the very important micro SD port on there, which is going to allow you to use this computer. Not like a normal computer, but very close to a normal computer. So in terms of usability, this laptop's perfect for those people that want to work on a train and be portable and for students. Mainly, mainly, mainly for students because it's portable. It's not something that you're going to try and it's not going to be a distraction it can be a distraction but i just see it as where it's so portable and where it's just purely work based you're not going to be distracted to put games on there or anything like that so for working professionals and for university to secondary school students it's an ideal laptop in terms of its speed so i've used it for a bit and in terms of its speed it's fast so people say it's not that fast but you've got to think about it. it's a small one gigahertz processor and it's fast as far as you're not going to clog up the hard drive with your programs or anything like that that's where this little bad boy comes into play because this allows you to put all your programs on there and run your programs off this instead of the actual hard drive and running off the hard drive is what slows it down so they always say even editing videos on my macbook they say don't edit on it always edit on something external because then it frees up the actual hard drive for programs and stuff like that there's a page that i found online and this gentleman i think it's a gentleman it could be a woman but they, they made a guide on how to trick the computer into thinking that a micro SD is an actual hard drive so you could install your programs on them, Microsoft Office, iTunes, whatever you want, freeing up the hard drive space. So this is the page itself and I'll put a link in the description where you can actually get to that page. So if you're definitely going to buy one of these small computers with an EMMC hard drive of 32 gig or 16 gig, please, please, please use this link. Don't, I'm not begging you, but I recommend it because it's definitely going to free up the space on your hard drive and it's going to allow it to run a lot quicker because instead of using your hard drive, you'll be using micro SD and you can get these micro SDs. I think they support up to 256. So this is 128 and this is going to be more than enough space because if you think about it, you're only going to be using this for work. You're not going to be using it for videos or editing or anything like that so 128 gigabytes should be more than enough to keep a few music tracks maybe one or two films but the main thing is you're using it for work so overall out of five i'd score it a four reason being because it's portable and for everything that you need to use it for it does the job when you when you go to curry's or pc world whatever they call them so whenever you go here they're going to be like oh mate no you can't get that that's no good oh you got to do this you got to do that you don't got to do that no don't buy that one i'll show you that one down there it's only 799 quid and 49 to get the laptop if you want, make sure you get the micro SD to slot in and you're good to go. As far as you follow the link in the description to turn it into a hard drive and trick the computer into thinking it's a hard drive, then you can install all your programs on there as normal and you won't have any issues whatsoever. So yeah guys, that is it. Remember tune in every Monday for a new video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a like if the video's helped and I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Okay.